have posted a lot of neckbeard experiences on the subreddit, but get prepared for the mysterious tales of the almighty king of all, the cyber terrorist neckbeard. Let's call him Beeper. Beeper was the weird kind of high school kid, wears full camo tracksuit and occasionally a suit with a fedora. Huge Trump and Putin supporter, and if others were talking about politics, he screams normie and libertard usually. In his opinion, we should shoot immigrants, not after they trespass the wall, but right before they can reach it. He loves anime, especially incest and lolly-themed ones. Mainly with a maid as a main character because they know where the woman's place is. There is a computer with a projector in their classroom for the teachers, and he uses it to terrorize others with porn during breaks. We can use it during breaks, but the most interesting part of his career was when he installed CS Source with a pen drive. He just put it on the desktop so the IT support noticed it, and from a custom Word file, he figured who put it there. Bieber was called to the principal's office for installing banned application, and how he said been humiliated there. He declared a revenge on the school. He infected that computer with a pen drive shortcut virus and spread quickly to the students' pen drives and home computers. He infected more computers because, as we know, half the computers were run into the virus. Somehow, after a few days, the IT support knew who did this, and Beeper got called to the principal's office where he got a meltdown and said such things like, You should just let me play with my game! The principal suspended him for a month and said that she will call the police. She got any reports about infected computers. The IT was reinstalled every computer and removed the virus, even from the students' own computers. They gave new pen drives to not infect anything again. After the month without him, he arrived at school and was full of rage against every walking woman. Dude, it's not their fault you are a ser terrorist. He started to carry a sword to school, but after they took it away, he was so angry. Bieber was finally fired on the same day. They found a running wire shark on the computer. Wire shark is a program which monitors the traffic in the network, and unencrypted passwords are easy to get with. After he got fired, Bieber had the same meltdown in his life. He destroyed three desks, among with the principal's one, ambulance, and the police were called on him. They took him away, and that was the time we saw him for the last time. So, recap. Neckbeard installs CS Source on classroom computer. The principal talks with him. As revenge, he infects school computers with virus. After being suspended for a month, he takes a sword, and when it was taken away, he starts monitoring network for unencrypted passwords. Cops took him. This is from a man's perspective. Some of the best experiences in life come from proving someone wrong. It feels better if the person hates you, and even better, used a devious plan to do so. This story started from my senior year in high school. As usual, at the beginning of each academic year, all students would be assigned new classes. Most of my new classmates were kind, and some I have known for years before. However, there was one person who seemed a bit older. Let's call him John. He apparently failed the previous year and was visibly overweight and seems like the type of person to not pay attention to hygiene. He wore some band shirt, slipknot if I recall correctly. His armpits looked stained with sweat and his face was topped with a thin neck beard. Of course, when he walked into the class, everyone noticed him. This was due to his pungent body odor, which I can only describe as a st very strong fish-like smell. John was a self-proclaimed incel, and even invited me to become an incel. The reason? Because you're Asian, you'll never get laid. Said comment was disgusting, but I initially thought nothing of it. However, over time, 
John would constantly try to insult and berate me in front of me and behind my back, all the while asking me to be an incel. Looking back, maybe this guy just wanted friends, but I was having none of it. I was thinking of some way to get John to stop. When my friend, we'll call her Anne, approached me and asked me if something was up. I told her about my situation, and she said, Why don't we mess with him? I asked her what she meant. She said that we should act like boyfriend and girlfriend in school. This would, hopefully, not just trigger John, but also get the boys in the school off of Anne's back. For context, I have been friends with Anne for over six years. She was my neighbor, and we went to the same schools together. She was, quite frankly, beautiful. This caused her to become the aim of pretty much all the boys in school. This made her uncomfortable as she was, and still is, a lesbian. I agreed with her plan, and we agreed to start the day after. We decided to come to school together and put on the act. She held my hand and walked around school as we tell each other shitty inside jokes that no one would understand. Eventually, we met John. He was just about to insult me again, but when he saw Anne, he paused for a moment. All of a sudden, he angrily asked me what did I do to get someone to like me. I was about to answer when he suddenly slammed his table and it screamed at the top of his lungs. Why does nobody give me a chance? Then he looked at Anne and said, all of you women are manipulative little whores who want beta cucks. Luckily, John had not noticed that our teacher had been listening to on this the whole time. Let's just say he got attention immediately. After his event, John never spoke to me again. He did not even look at me if I passed by, unless Anne was with me. And as for Anne... The plan worked, for the most part. Most of the boys gave up chasing her, with a few exceptions. Characters. Me, a very socially awkward, quite short and pretty skinny gay feminine boy, and Rick, a much taller and heavier harem anime enthusiast. Sorry in advance if this goes on a bit long. In order to set up the more recent and more than likely final interaction I will ever have with Rick, I feel the story will need some context from around four years ago. At this time, Rick was my only friend, and I was pretty much his only friend. This, rather unfortunately for him, meant that at school people did ask him if I was his boyfriend, and he really let it get to him. I did not care about them saying this because I knew that that was never going to happen. Rick had some really good qualities, but personal hygiene was not one of them, and his teeth were just appalling. So one day, I showed Rick the Sailor Mercury costume I was putting together, and wore it in front of him. In fact, he was the only person to see me in the outfit. Rick, good quality, pretty trustworthy guy. He laughed a bit, but said it suited me. This is important later. Me and Rick used to hang out a lot, mostly talk about games and Rick ragging on girls. See, Rick had kind of a bad sense of entitlement and would always put down girls and talk shit about all of them because he wanted, really wanted a girlfriend, but being real, he just wanted someone to have sex with. A girlfriend would have been a way to... Um... Way too much effort to put into for Rick. He would often ask me how to get a girl and that I should know because I'm basically a girl, which I made clear to him many times I did not like him saying that. So now it's four years later and my contact with Rick had pretty much ceased for the past three years. We were best friends, but after school I just moved on with life and Rick did not. Living like 40 minutes away now from... What? I hear he mostly just does the bare minimum to keep his welfare money flowing. So anyway, about a month ago, I get a message from Rick just saying hi. I feel 
because we were friends for a long time before it would only be polite to reply and chat for a while. However, after less than five minutes, Rick asked me I still have my Sailor Mercury costume. And I say yes. He did not even ask how I was before asking this. He then sends a picture of some anime scroll girl with pink hair and a pink sailor suit. And it's actually a boy. He asks me would I wear that. I tell him I did not know who the character was, but I did have a pink sailor suit. Rick makes his move. Keep in mind, we have not spoken in like three years, and after less than ten minutes, he tells me he is willing to date me because I have a dress and I need to dress as a girl around him. I just reply with a what? He goes on to say how he will never get a real girl and that I was as close as he was going to get. I guess he thinks that with all those years we were friends convinced him I fancied him, which I did not. I found this whole thing so insulting because to him I was just some last resort and better than nothing. To sum up, I called this whole idea ridiculous and called him an asshole for thinking so little of me. But I did comment that if he really could not get with a girl, he should explore his newfound bisexuality. Anyway, he spun he some sob story about how hard it was for him and that it was way easier to get laid as a twinky little faggot and told me he was not bi and did not like dicks. The last thing I said to him was, in all caps, I have a dick. But in response, he said that mine was probably tiny and closer to an oversized clit. <laughs>